There's another incident before anything about cheating was revealed, and it's Brandon Taubman making insensitive remarks to a female reporter. What are your memories of that night, and what was your role in the cleanup of that? That was, uh, I was so disappointed that that happened. That should never have happened, first of all. Uh, but I was actually more disappointed in how the Astros reacted to that. Um, the night that the organization found out that this was going to be a story, um, there were several people actively conversing about what to do about it. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, you probably know this as a reporter, but as a general manager, I don't write press releases. I see them before they go out if they have to do with baseball operations and I'll approve a quote if it's supposedly my words, but even my quotes are written by someone else. Um, this particular response was uh, crafted, edited, uh, and written by the person that runs the legal operation for the Astros and the person that runs the marketing and PR for the Astros. Those two wrote it, edited it, and sent it out. Now they did syndicate it, when I say syndicate it, there were other people copied on the email traffic that evening. Nobody, nobody said, don't send this out. I should have said that. And I feel bad that I didn't because my gut was telling me this was probably not the right reaction. Uh, even though everybody in that group believed that the, um, the incident was innocent, which it turned out not to be, um, it still didn't feel like the right reaction because it was so aggressive. I, uh, at one point, I um, objected to it, not as vociferously as I wish I would have. Um, my objection was ignored, and 20 minutes later, the response was sent out. It was very clear immediately after the response was sent out that it was horrifically wrong, and it made us look terrible. Um, nobody wanted to take responsibility for that response. Uh, two days later, we're in... Washington, D.C., and that morning I had um, fired Brandon, and I was asked if I would talk to the media about firing Brandon. Mm -hmm. I agreed to do it. Nobody else was willing to do it. Um, about 20 seconds before I walked into a room filled with baseball reporters who were all looking to attack somebody, um, I was instructed by one of the people that wrote the response not to disclose who wrote it and to make everybody understand that it was an Astros response, but not to talk about the people who were involved. I followed those instructions. I sat there for 20 minutes and was attacked by every media outlet in the country. And I know I didn't handle it as well as I could have, um, but I, did, I didn't want to lie, so I told them that I had seen the response before it went out which essentially made me the face of the response because no one else was willing to face the music. When that uh, interview was over, I received a text message from the other person who had been involved in writing it and crafting it, thanking me for taking one for the team. Um, I shouldn't have taken one for the team. I didn't write that response. It was a horrible response. It should never have happened. Um, but unfortunately, um, I did. I mean, I, I you know, I take my responsibility in it. I should have stopped it, uh, but that's not my area of expertise. I was busy preparing for the World Series. There are people in the company, the legal department, the marketing department, the mm -hmm. PR department. Those are the people that are involved in crisis management, and, and they, they, they botched this one big time.